Actually, technically it's still summer, but uh, it feels like fall here. All the leaves are changing. Uh, we're doing one of our last cuts of the year. We're watering on all of our trees, putting away all the summer stuff and getting ready for that old man winter. Wow, holy tomatoes. We have a lot of them. So I'm making different types of tomato sauces, pizza sauces. I'm gonna can some up, I'm gonna freeze some, and then we're gonna be uh, fully loaded for winter. Super exciting. getting to be that toque time weather. Uh, the ground was nice and white and frosty this morning. Um, however, I'm gonna take the little one and head to the zoo. Uh, check it out, it's been over a year since you've been there and we were there uh, last time in the winter months. It's really hard these days again. Um, Alberta has some really weird regulations right now and we're kind of in that lull in between vaccine passports and not and getting vaccinated and children under 12 can't so um going to the zoo i have to show my vaccine passport or a negative covid test uh v is fine i don't know like i said just enjoy the nice fall weather and woo, keep my toque on i must note that i'm not feeling too adventurous these days i'm feeling very pregnant you know what i was tired with my first pregnancy but it's so much more exhausting with a puppy and a toddler at home still working on the tomatoes and the garden harvest so you know what i just we just need to get away for the day and uh have a little bit of fun So we just left the urban farm, which was uh, 
kind of a cool experience. Um, it's, I think, one of the newest areas of the Edmonton Valley Zoo, but it has been around for a few years. Ooh, wait for our home to show on the horizon soon. This little guy actually has some babies. So cute. So the Edmonton Zoo is actually uh, pretty tiny. I believe it's all privately funded. Um, we just finally got to come across Lucy there. Oh, there's so much controversy behind Lucy, but she's well taken care of, guys. And if they moved her at this point, it wouldn't be good. She's so attached to her trainers that that's who she is. In other words, that's her family. <laughs> um, if they were gonna move her, they should have been years ago, <laughs> not now. So, um, Please no negative comments on the video. Mm -hmm. So this is the Arctic habitat area. A lot of it is closed. Um, they're doing a lot of renovations at the zoo, which is good, I guess. It just, uh, you know, hey, at least it wasn't full price admission and uh, it was only the fall price because yeah, a lot of it is closed and due to COVID, everything's one way and half the exhibits you can't go into. But overall, we've had a pretty good experience and got us out of the house and she got to enjoy a few things, so. What you doing, kiddo? Where are you? Oh, are you hiding there? Yeah. What would you find? Um, oh. this. <laughs> Jump? Yep. Wait, okay, you... here, hold the hand. Woo! <laughs> Are you climbing through the caves? I. Uh... Woo! in behind us uh, they still don't have any names but they're actually uh, an endangered zebra got me some bubblegum ice cream it's probably some of my favorite ice cream ever even though I'm an adult um, I love me some bubblegum ice cream 
Well, it turned out to be a beautiful autumn day. You know what, it's about 18 degrees Celsius and for fall weather, this is awesome. Um, we had a good day at the zoo. There was a lot of things that were closed, being renovated. It's what you get though. And like I said, the price was super cheap being that it was fall prices. So we went and enjoyed the day. The thing about the Edmonton Valley Zoo is it's um, it doesn't get the funding that a lot of the other zoos do. Uh, it's great for young kids and uh, yeah, like we don't have anything super cool there like lions or camels or any of that kind of stuff, but yeah. Obviously the frosts haven't killed off the wasps yet. I've had enough of them this year. They're, they've been absolutely crazy. I don't know if uh, anyone else is experiencing that or if it's just us here in Alberta, but. Hey Zelda, what you doing? And Charlie? Just two beagles loving life. So that's Zelda, that's ours. And the other one, she he is actually a pocket beagle and that would be uh, Mike's parents. Smile. Oh. Go down! <laughs> what you think?